it's, it's convoluted for Mr. Tiwahabura not to announce himself winner because, like I'm saying, he pretty much pretends over the election. Going to court is something similar. Yes, there were people. So there were two schools of thought um, just after the election. There were those who were saying that going to the election is um, a total waste of time because the courts, the justices of the Supreme Court are appointed by Mr. Tiwahabura. So he, he's very preponderant over them, tells them when and how to do what. Can, can I have a correction? Mm. <coughs> Mr. Zimhavura has never appointed <coughs> the judges of, the, of any court. Oh, come on. He is hasn't? The judges, Moses, now, don't speak with ignorance. No, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> the judges are appointed by the president. And I think uh, for, uh, for young man, Joel, he should have respect for the office of the president, and uh, don't personalize it to the person of the president. Who, who has been occupying it and who appointed these people? The judges in Uganda are appointed by the president. OK, so you made your point. Let and, me continue uh, with uh, my you, submission. You refer to the president as the president. And I can refer to him as honorable. Feel free to refer to me as Joel or no. Senior Nyi. So would you have the respect and call the president the president? Okay, before I was rudely interrupted by uh, Moses here, I don't know, I think he also now wants to be referred to as Senior Presidential Advisor. <laughs> you are Moses Viaranga, that's your name. Today you are today you're Presidential Advisor, tomorrow you might be Deputy RDC or I don't know what. So, like I was saying, just, justices are, um, well, well Kazibwe was Vice President, Special And then she became advisor in charge of, uh, you know, she became an employee of Minister of Health. Nads or something. Minister of Health. So anyhow, before I was rudely interrupted by Moses here, Mr. Tibu Havura appoints the justices of the Supreme Court. Um, and so we, we went there, in knowing this fact. But, but we are saying it's, um, it's, it's the total struggle that we are involved in. And for us, or for us, as, uh, I'm, I'm still trying to work out the, the, the bit about the petition. I'm, I'm coming and to how that. you think you win the petition. I'm, I'm coming to and that. As, as, as you, you it seems so to be going round. There, there were those who were saying you can't go there. You're going to just legitimize him. Mm. And then the other school of thought was, look, let's go to court because one, we have said we are going to use all the and legal if you go to court, you fully legitimize. They are that the are available process. for mm. us um, because. You see, for us, we are civilized. We are not like Mr. Tibuhavura and his fellow rebels that went to the bush, shed blood. That's how they took power. For us, we are saying regime change must happen within the law, and it should be bloodless for heaven's sake. Let for once, Ugandans, see a transfer of power where lives don't have to be lost. And that's why we keep saying we'll pursue every legally available avenue. We're not only pursuing one. So court is one of those. You know, so we go there in, let's expose the, the fraud that this election was. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's good to put the Supreme Court to the test while everybody is saying all these different things. What do you have to say? There's overwhelming evidence to show that there was non-compliance with the electoral laws. There was brutality. There was intimidation. What I find interesting, Joe, is that cetera. you won the, the, the election and out, but you don't just, I mean, you've been saying you won the election. Why don't you want the uh, declaration to your uh, principal instead of saying have it and out? All of those, in fact, um, our lawyers advise that uh, we should uh, add another bit that Mr. Tibuahura should uh, not be allowed to stand again because he has been violating all these electoral laws. So let's wait anyhow. Uh, you put in everything you can, and then you wait for the justices of the Supreme Court to decide. I, I, I so, laughed at that one. Like, like I'm saying, yeah, it's provided for within the law. It's allowable within the law. Uh, okay. So the, the idea is let's do everything we can. Let's use all the avenues that are available right. to us mm. as long as they are legal, as long as they are not well, because well, that's who we are. We'll get there eventually. NUP, the uh, leading opposition party, saying they won the election and they've gone to court. FDC, uh, the former leading opposition uh, party, has said they shall not go to court uh, considering their experiences. In fact, one of the FDC leaders says for him is plan B. We don't yet know what plan B is. You see, the, 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 the most difficult question to answer and situation to face <coughs> is when you are leading the population to fight for their own freedom. And every day, you are going to be in the dock. Uh, I am actually now saying you in the dock. You are leading uh, 
not a battle for yourself. Even the media, we should be asking you, Oscar. I have told the people here in Zambia, in Malawi, the struggle for freedom in Malawi uh, against Bakiri Muz was led by the Kraji. And they played a similar role in, uh, in Zambia. In Uganda here, you are going to be questioned for every single effort that, that you put in. The <coughs> this discussion we have had um, before and after election, even amongst ourselves, do we participate or we don't? Because even the decision to participate in the election, um, as Senyon has said, it's a difficult one to make. You go in knowing that you're going to participate in an election where Mr. Seven will raid the central bank, pick uh, all the money. He will um, invite the military and police when he's under pressure. But the choice is to fold your hands and go and sleep. And then let things happen until maybe the Almighty will intervene. So this is how difficult it is to take these decisions. Uh, and then sometimes, uh, Mr. As you forgive me, I get angry when I am quizzed, as if I am engaged in a personal business. But anyway, the moment you volunteer yourself, you have to answer these questions. Um, so going into court, I have discussed it with people who are not politicians. And they told me, for the same reasons that we go to parliament after an election like this, someone should go to court. You may not get the, um, the declaration by electoral commission overturned, but there will be some incremental um, improvement in the way we hold the elections that maybe future elections eventually may deliver you. The one you have finished, you may not overturn it, but at least the courts will make recommendations for the improvement of elections. So you, you, you go to court. We faced a similar situation when we were beaten and, and, and seven took over parliament and, and changed the constitution. So we sat with colleagues, do we go to court or we don't go? Because, the, yeah, so the verdict is not, going to, is not going to be because there is no evidence. The verdict is going to be because the judges are not courageous enough. So we went to court, they asked for evidence, we presented the evidence, and then they said, ah, no, okay, we have listened to you, but uh, please go away. Uh, but there are some prayers that they are going to grant. They will not be the main prayers and the main motivation why you go there. Maybe the country will benefit. Uh, as if this would look a decision having gone there. So there is no way we'll ask someone who has not gone there not to go, because we went there two times. Uh, but there are also some recommendations made in, in, in both petitions, including by the way, the one of Bowers. So those uh, recommendations incrementally may improve the elections in Uganda. Because you like it or not, Mr. M7 will come to an end. You only pray that the end is not bad for the country. Mm. So therefore, the, the, the improvements, the, some of the prayers that are going to be granted by court may be the reason um, in the future some people will win parliamentary elections. I remember when Rukwa was in parliament, one of the contributions he made was to improve the seating arrangement on polling day. Because in the past, the presiding officer was behaving like a king, he sits somewhere, and your agents are just watching him. <coughs> The improvement was that you sit together, you're going to be part of what is doing. So that's the only benefit that you can go to pick from courts in Uganda okay. and at Uhawaru. The uh, Ofero Pondo, this is a good time to congratulate uh, MUP on <coughs> exercising uh, their right to appeal the election. Well, first of all, let me take the opportunity to congratulate, to congratulate my father's son, the Honorable Abu Katuntu, who I have said did not contest again, he went and steamrolled uh, both NRM and FDC. Congratulations. You have to squeeze in that little clause. Yeah. <laughs> 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 say, thank you, my blazer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, the remedy of going to court, is it all available to know so that they are congratulated? No. The remedy of going to court is available to every person in Uganda on any matter they are about. So it should be 
a natural logical process that they don't need to be congregated one court because there are thousands of people before these courts on a different matters dear to them. It may not be election issues, it could be property issues, it could be business issues, it could be marital and so on, dear to them. So the courts of Uganda are available to all. I want to believe that weaknesses, internal weaknesses in the judicial system, uh, prostitution, uh, investigation and gathering and presenting evidence notwithstanding, generally the courts of Uganda being way. Now, it is not only election petitions that are, lo that are lost. Every other case, every other matter can also be lost and won, depending on how the evidence you present <coughs> convinces the courts. And so, when the courts when you fail to convince court, the judge, the magistrate, or a panel of judges will decline to grant your prayer. And so I think that that's a really the, should be the crux of the matter. I think that's a pay to disparage because the same groups have gone to court before and the same courts have given them the ruling, the judgment they sought. In the case of no, on about three months ago, you do remember there was contestation over the legality, the procedures that were used to procure no. The courts found that the people who were making the allegations didn't have substantial evidence, and that matter was dis dismissed, and today we have no. It is therefore surprising that the same. Were well, those judges appointed with the president? The one who the yes. Uh, they, they were. And, and so that's what I'm saying. It, it, it is therefore surprising that the same spokespersons of NUP who yesterday praised that court process that gave them a good verdict that NUP is a legitimate political organization and therefore should run, should campaign, should compete to elective offices. And now we see. <coughs> at the Supreme Court, where nine judges are going to sit to say this matter, should they lose? I think they are trying to inoculate themselves and their supporters that they can only lose because the courts are either uh, are biased, are compromised, like some of you are saying, that uh, the judges have no courage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, see. those same judges have had courage in the matters of the same issues before. FDC at parliamentary level has gone to court and they have secured positive judgment from those same courts. How come they were not timid at that point? Secondly, earlier on you remember the person for whom Semujo has continued to be a walking stick. Mr. Message <coughs> was in was in prison on matters of treason. Who's walking stick? On matters of treason. <laughs> the same court, the same court <laughs> judged those matters in favor of Mr. Semojo's uh, hand, which was you can say boss. The, uh, boss. Yes. It is. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it is one of the strategies by our colleagues in the opposition because they live their political political lives. When the judgment is in their favor, then the courts are good, the judges are courageous. When courts, when the judges are not in their favor, it can only be because the judges are compromised and timid. Okay. I don't know if why somebody thinks that is more courageous in the parliament than the judges or other public officials. If you are the only courageous person, we wish you the best. Moses, um, you, 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 you've heard from 
Joel, you've heard from uh, Semuju, and uh, Joel says, well, let them try out. Um, and at the same time, uh, uh, Semuju says, well, they've done trying out. Well, <coughs> well um, the courts in Uganda, I'm thinking even the world over, make a decision based on facts and the law. The law in Uganda in respect to elections is very clear. Now the question will be which facts have uh, not presented to court before court. They have already made their petition, they have served the those who in India have served the three parties, President Uwe Museveni, the Electoral Commission and the Attorney General. Uh, the lawyers and the EC. And the Electoral Commission, the lawyers of the four parties are busy now making responses to the issues raised by NOOP in their petition. And uh, I can assure you that those lawyers have uh, good, good evidence to show that what has been presented by NOOP is not good enough to warrant um, the, the election <coughs> petition to stay. So my personal opinion of, uh, is, is that you, you seem to be saying like may the best person win. Yes, may the best, best person will be your, your the best person will win. Mm. And uh, based on the law of Uganda and based on the facts presented Okay. By both parties. Do you find it interesting that, that they are <coughs> requesting that President Museveni is disqualified from any other public office? Well, they can make any allegation, I mean, any prayer they want, but they, can, they will not succeed on that one. And all, my, my view that it will be dismissed because uh, there is not something new which they are presenting, which the same you didn't present, and the law has not changed much. There have been amendments. But I don't think much has changed to warrant that uh, uh, you see, goes home. To, to warrant a dismissal of the case. It's not about courage of the judges. Like Ofono has said, the judges of Uganda have had the uh, uh, courage based on the facts presented to dismiss cases, to allow even the cases involving opposition to stay including the one where Honorable uh, Chagolani became an MP. Somebody had presented, had been elected in that position of each other on the East. And uh, somebody went to court and petitioned the court where the judge was appointed by President Seveni, approved by Parliament. Maybe he meant That's that. for information. The one who went to court was uh, the inherent plan. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think what Semuju meant was that in cases concerning the president, that's where maybe no, no, someone. No, no, uh, see, uh, the you see, I Semuju. Mm. Semuju is, is now, he, he has been in parliament for some time, I think he's uh, oh. now getting old enough to, to be more, more pragmatic. Uh, so, what so, so you are saying? Say, Joel was. Joel was saying. Joel was saying that the judges, they, since they have been appointed by President Seveni, and for him, he has no purpose of calling him a president. He thinks he, 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 he thinks no. He thinks he calls them. He, he appoints them as in his personal capacity. But there was a judge who ruled in the case where NRM took an FDC candidate, then it got contented to court, and ruled in favor, uh, and I mean, and dismissed, the, the, I mean, and ruled in favor, and the, it is in that ruling that uh, after the court, they, they allowed the uh, by election that uh, Chogulani became a member of parliament.
You wanted to say root in favor of NRM. That's why you stammered a little bit. So, so, but see, if, so, so the judges in Uganda, you had, you had been in the, 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 the age limit case, it was taken to court uh, by, by some members of parliament, I think, and I don't know whether Honorable Simon Jewish raised them, or he was one of them. They, he was went, an observer. They, they went to court, to the constitutional court. The constitutional court ruled and dismissed some of the of the issues, allowed some of the issues they played. And the most important one. Disallowed the others, because they didn't have enough facts on it, and the, the, the law didn't uh, was not on, 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 your, on your side. But the others were allowed. Others, others were allowed. But now, in that, and, and I remember there was a lot of praise of the court. The court yeah, well, and of course, anyway, uh, Justice Kapuru, that, that time we had been made of justice, everybody was saying, I think this is the best person to come to justice because he has ruled in your favor in, in some of your cases. But some of the judges have allowed your petition, not so. But the majority did not allow the petition. And you were in favor, you, you were really praised those who allowed your petition. And those same judges have been appointed by the same person. Okay. Now, here is the people saying, ah, we know that the judges uh, appointed by the president, they cannot say no. If the same judges can rule in your favor on some cases, then that's okay. If they rule against you, then, it is, then they are biased. Then why are you going to court in the first place? Thank you. So we'll stop for a break. After the break, we'll have Nanfi and then Abdul, who is in the studio already. <laughs>